Morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundake with Reverend Yutaka Yamada. Today being Sunday, the 18th of July or the 9th of June in the ninth year of Chongogu. Let's begin by offering a, a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents, Chariot, Kyumbe, Paro. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon men se o chongyukuk chuin uri kajongun cham sarang guru chun shimago mail chitechok chon san sege wa te san chok chisan sege toni lul kyang he chon jin chok pal chon u chok jin al kosu men se hanaida. Family pledge number five. Our family, the owner of Chong Yul Guk, pledges to strive every day to advance the unification of the spirit world and the physical world as subject and object partners by centering on true love. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask Iris if she could offer the opening prayer, please. Um. <clears throat> Please join me in my prayer, our beloved heavenly parents and true parents. Good morning. We are gathered here this morning, heavenly parents, to start our day together with you and learn from our true mother's um, autobiography, memoir, heavenly parents. Uh, first of all, we want to reflect within ourselves, heavenly parents, um, we fail in many ways to fulfill uh, what is your desire for us heavenly parents and our true parents have come to set a, a model heavenly parents as model for us to live heavenly parents our lives we are so grateful that um, despite of our lockings and shortcomings, Heavenly Parent, um, you still long for us to come back. You still um, think of us, Heavenly Parents. You never abandon us as your sons and daughters. Heavenly Parent, we are joyful because um, our true parents have shared to us many experiences through their lives heavenly parents their love heavenly parents educated us and um as we together learn today uh, we invite your presence heavenly parents so that um, we can really digest and absorb all of the love of our two parents and uh, we are like to offer this uh, prayer in our name, Balamin Iris, Les Central Couple, Aju. Aju, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And let's give a, a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he shares with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining today's morning from the K. Today is Sunday morning and beginning of the week. So we are really appreciate and grateful for everyone to join the Fundoke from all over Oceania, even beyond the Oceania. So I also I just pray she's in Philippines. So now I think 4 a.m. So even this Oceania or each nation has a really different time time uh time time period but 
Diani, we put our chanson to love our region of Oceania, of our chanson, and Diani, our Oceania also live for the world together with our heavenly parents and true parents. So Diani, we grateful everyone to put our chanson and heart and Diani pray for the, our nation, region, and the world together. Now, especially the COVID situation there is getting a uh, severe or serious. So uh, now Sydney case from, I think from yesterday or today, getting tightened about COVID restriction. Even I saw the message. Now all small shops have to close. Only just bigger shopping mall can be opened. And also even um, cannot go out and cannot meet people. And if you ride the car, ride the car, also only same family member can ride a car. You cannot ride another person's car. So many situations inside of Sydney. I think Melbourne, Victoria also, there is a distraction. And I'm not sure, maybe Fiji also getting more serious. So Oceania area, now a little bit um serious the situation so really have to think how to do well and really pray and not only in, in our nation in oceania another world level even getting more difficult korea also and even japan now opening almost olympic but number is increased COVID number is increasing so or really this matter is not the personal matter or just one nation's matter they have all nation all people in the world they only have to put the effort wisdom and chanson and heart and cooperation then they really have to overcome uh, those things so really our brothers and sisters also we have to always pray and then really get the answer or find the solution together. This thing's important. So centering on our Fundokke, our God's word, and Chonson, they really put our heart together. So today also continuation about Champmogyon, about Father's message, the fishing and Chonson and the providence of ocean. So yesterday, thank you for your brothers are sharing about fishing or experience of brother Chris and also brother Douglas. You are, those sharing was also the precious to support our God's word or realization or experience. So yesterday we are talking about uh, fishing when two parents go to the ocean and about the chanson and heart and true mother always also or stay together. So true father and true mother as the true parents is leading the providence as the true parents and mother always stay together with father. We could see those true parents initiative and providence. This is always father and mother is together. But when we see the character, actually father and mother's character is totally different also male, female, many different, but work together. These things really investment and love and chanson we could find in our family life, husband and wife, we are stayed together, but how different husband character, wife's character. Do you think is that similar character or totally different character? If husband do try to do something and wife come together, is that easy things? Or wife doing something and husband really can support together? They are three parents, even of course, begotten son and begotten daughter centering on our heavenly parents, but always together they show the model. What is the parents as the father, as the mother, as the parents of the humankind? those investment and initiative. That's why we could see there is a model or there is no model. There is big different things. So we could see our father and mother's their investment 
and take responsible as the parents. That's why we are here together as the family. So we will continue through our message and we could find those heart also. So father is sharing about the fishing continuously. Fishermen regard fighting with a fish as the greatest fight of all. If a sharp shooter goes shooting with that mindset, his or her shot will be on target every time. Actually, we truly need this kind of mindset. Fishing has many good aspects. It feels wonderful to spend time at night gazing at the changing phenomena of nature, the waves and clouds that are even changing, ever changing. You need to spend that kind of time. Yet as much as the clouds and waves change, your mind also changes from joy one moment to disappointment the next. So Father is also or sharing the experience inside of in onto on the ship on the boat and on the ocean so this is the fighting waiting the fish on the boat this is really the spiritual fighting and really the battle by the spirit and battle the mind that's why father is sharing this if you could have this concentration or this spirit like fishing then even any kind of sports so shoot a sharp shooter father is sharing about sharp shooter so this kind of a sports also surely you can fulfill or you can win so when you stay on the boat and waiting the fish just to put the line to into the ocean 30 meter or 50 meter and fighting with fish this line can get or can catch fish or not even cannot see the fish but this is really the spiritual or really internal battle or concentration and even after catching the fish is also same when a big fish is caught you have to pull the fish upward but don't let it break the line Otherwise, this fish also run away. So you have to deal with fish, even you cannot see. So those concentration we could see. So when I now read recently, we are reading about the father's word about fishing. So I could really think many things. It made me think about how much concentration I put into something these days it makes me re-evaluate my conversation with my heart conversation communication with god and also my attitude toward things how about you do you have some experience recently what kind of things are you concentrating deeply like what father say about fishing focusing 100 percent your mind focus your 120 percent of your mind what kind of things are you concentrate or focus you can imagine the moment when you do fishing totally focus without thinking anything our mind is there so do you have this kind of focusing things recently in your life so we have to remind and together with concentration and conversation with God, that much seriously, they are seeking God or pray or meditate deeply in our heart or not. So really, uh, we could see. And also Father sharing about the night scene on the ocean. So night view, how much beautiful. When you imagine the moment when you stay on the boat in the night uh, night scene on the sea what you can imagine that time you can hear only the sound of water and sound of also wave sometimes also you can hear the sound of engine of the boat but if turn off the engine of the boat just flow on 
the ocean nearly so calm and quiet night ocean view and even night time you can imagine you can see the light of the star and light of the moon so even dark night but you could see that a nature well so this changing moment suddenly calm down suddenly nearly severe uh, weather so those moment they really can feel the heart so the other father is sharing about the conversation or changingness of our heart how much i can catch our changingness of our heart so this the moment sincere or silent moment is really important to our life while fishing when you catch a fish you are exclaim yes i got it you especially appreciate the first fish you catch that is because before you catch any you are so serious thinking i am going to catch a fish with my own hands let's see what fish i will be ca catching the value that you place on your object the fish varies depending on your subjective idea and viewpoint whether fishing pulls you down into a bottomless pit or lift you up to the sky depends on you your feeling can change dramatically so this is really father is sharing about the moment to catch the fish now you on the boat and try to start the fishing so how was that time hard now try to put the line to into the ocean so many kind of feeling is coming what kind of fish i can catch today really can i catch fish or not so many mind and if you can catch the feeling really so much exciting and also happy when i was director of the alt like olt we our member every time i brought the member to the ocean uh fishing around two day or three days so our time when go to the ocean usually it's not easy to get the catch the fish daytime and most better time to catch the fish is around 3 a.m and 4 a.m so until that moment continuously waiting and waiting and waiting and the moment come suddenly many fish was caught so that time was really exciting that time i caught the barracuda i'm not sure barracuda is in uh, oceania really big around one meter or 80 centimeters big fish also so that time i went together with alt member we cannot get the fish every time but sometimes once start to catch the fish suddenly many people get the many fish together so at that moment there are 40 fish or 50 fish we could get i also could get around seven or eight fishes bigger one so this is really uh, exciting so really what kind of fish we can catch in the oceania i didn't go to the ocean or fishing yet in oceania so oh really someday if no no COVID, if we can organize even we can organize with young people even we can organize with family member to go to the ocean right sometimes not not only just outing service in barbecue we can do outing service on the boat catch fish and cook together and spend time one day this is also i think a good experience and young people our second generation also so when they really go to the ocean, there are many kinds of story and depends on my heart, Father said, depends on my heart, all body will be changed. This getting exciting moment or also this moment become the most disappointment or challenging moment. When I went to the ocean, the good condition time is okay. But some, sometimes there are bad condition time Usually when we go there, 24 hours or 30 hours we stay, one night, two days. So when, we, when I stay there, 
exciting or good condition time is okay but one day when we left after two hours from leaving the land suddenly really my condition health condition was really bad and really vomiting and body body become so much heavy their condition was not good so at that moment even starting now but already my mind is waiting please quickly finish and i want to go back to the land just still 24 hours 26 hours are, are remaining but already beginning of the time really i want to go back quickly so exciting time we can pray god god's word or can talk many good things but they are bad condition time no more pray no more good things no more good feeling just want to finish quickly but time doesn't doesn't pass how much so slow time is going so slow even five minutes this takes time one hour two hours is really uh, going takes time that's why really there are many kind of drama there so father really mentioning many kind of story on the boat and also the experience so really we could find many kind of story or could experience many kind of life through fishing so father uh, sharing that value that you place on your object the fish varies depending on your subjective idea and viewpoint whether fishing pulls you down into a bottomless pit or lift you up to the sky depends on you your feeling can change dramatically so when you go there really one moment can change your feeling so fishing moment easy to recognize our hot of course when we do some experience in another field you can have a similar feeling but very father is mentioning this especially fishing and on the ocean you can see those many kind of experience so really precious to have that the end of starvation there are many wild animals in the tropical region we need to know how to hunt we also need to be able to fish. If people know how to fish, they will never starve. Teaching people how to hunt is teaching them how to survive. In the past, the high priest performed ritual that included the offering of animals as sacrifice. So Father is mentioning how to solve the starvation. So how to teach the fishing and how to teach hunting so uh mentioning about hunting animal and also uh, hunt the fishing fish this is actually the way of surviving how about the nation of oceania this nation of oceania is almost main things is uh, fishing right there is no hunting right i'm not sure australia there is hunting somewhere not so much hunting, but maybe Australia case or some bigger nation case, even we do hunting, but maybe the purpose is not for eating, right? For leisure or enjoyment. But so Father is mentioning some nation like us, some Africa, some, some South America, still they are not easy situation to survive today or eat the food today. That's why father educate the missionary and send the missionary to Africa and also South America or those nations and to let them teach how to fish and also how to hunt. So those things without visiting, without experiencing the nation, really we cannot understand. And without experience also not easy to have a common base and really to embrace or encourage or sympathy of those person's heart. So how much important to have a same experience, really go down and live together to the, peop the people in this uh, field, then really we can embrace 
and we can find it together. That's why Father visited many kind of nation and they live together, stay together and understanding or experience together. So those really experience. And I had some, our members, you share the experience in Africa. You organize also the farming and also or take care of the animal, the things. So experience and investment is really important. Our Oceania nation, maybe most of things is our fishing. Maybe some nation also take care of the chicken or goat, a goat and to kill them and eat well. So those experience, I think recently our second generation doesn't have an experience to kill animal. I'm not sure. When I went to my uh, wife's hometown in Philippines, there, there are many kinds of living chicken. Chicken are running around and there's a goat and cow. And there I catch the living chicken and first time I experienced to kill the chicken. And also the family member uh, cook for me about goat. They kill the goat, poke a uh, pig and to cook in front of in front of me so really could experience those things yesterday i think a few days ago our reverend city also uh, sharing you are taking care about a few cow and to live together so really in the living time how we can live together with nature and really feel about god so father is mentioning we have to teach hunting and fishing in this those nation still people is difficult to live or difficult to survive i hunt wild animals to help make our members into high priest it is a sacred task once you learn how to fish and hunt i will make teams that can go into the wheels i will send people on hunting and fishing mission to help those living in more difficult circumstances. We have to spread this idea throughout the world. Wherever you go in the world, fishing and hunting are means to prevent serious food shortage. So Father is mentioning and educating the people, our member or leader as the high priest. Then when we people, when missionary go to place, can help and can support. So three parents always mentioning and always thinking how to save or how to support the people, not only giving the food, also the educational side, even also the family side, even youth side. Their concern, father, mother and concern is always how to support the people, how to help the people, how to help the society how to help my nation. So Tripen's life is totally not for own, own self, totally always thinking others. So how much really, always really when we think about Father's message, reflect our mindset. When I think our mindset, for example, 24 hours, how many percent we are really living or thinking others? Our family level, maybe always we are thinking how to save, how to serve, how to guide the family. But how about the tribe level? How much we are thinking about relative or tribe? What we can help, what we can support, what we can work together with our tribe or relative family members. How much are we thinking that? Mother is talking about Chambu family, 430 couple or 43 family, but among our thinking, how many percentage really we are thinking our relative? How often do we communicate with our relative or even our family member, our parents or parents-in-law or relative or relative-law or all family member, how often are we communicating and concerning Recently, our develop, developed nation, the individualism is getting serious. So only parents and child, 
only four persons family is living together and doesn't communicate so much our parents or parents in law or grandparents or grandparents in law so those communicate communication or relationship is getting less and less and less and even family side if children getting big they independent and there is no more communication just grandfather and grandmother just one couple stay together and no more communication or maybe once a month or once a year so our mindset our relationship and our heart beyond the family or in doing inside the family how much we are thinking them and next of the tribe our society or city how many times we are thinking the situation of this my city or my states how to save how to support and how to develop how much we are thinking for those person and also our nation our australia our new zealand our solomon island how many times really are we thinking about the situation of the nation i i am the one who want to who will save who will solve the national problem national matter i want to give influence i want to give solution how many times we are thinking i'm receiving some message every time about recently there is vaccine matter right so really some member is really doing effort i have to solve this vaccine matter i have to solve and prepare the solution so there are many, many kind of issue so when there is issue there is two kind of person also some person will not think anyway this is not my matter no need to think or some people is seriously think this is my matter my family matter my city matter my national matter we have to seriously think and solve that's why our mind and our thinking is important so in our oceania nation how much we are thinking about iran nation to support these people's life in iran these people's life in the difficult uh, place we have to think and also beyond the oceania how much we are thinking another difficult nation or another people in different country and to save and serve them so when we see our true father and true mother's attitude inside of their concept there is no thinking of their personal life always how can serve how can help how can save the people and how can develop the people's life and how can solve the problem in the world and society and how to liberate god through father and mother's sharing and even the actual actual investment looks like sometimes those life world life national life is not relating relating with our personal life but how we can develop our mindset or capacity to embrace from family level from tribal level from the national level this is really our three parents education continuously educating us please love people please embrace please open your mindset all people is our brother and sisters and they are suffering now they are really challenging now even they are difficult to survive now please concern and embrace and love them so this chombo and this tribal messiah is actually starting point 430 43 is bigger number but just start from one person love one person love two person just concern one person two person calling praying visiting this is really starting to change our mindset from individualism to living for the sake of others so today sharing about father's message of course fishing and also saving about the hunting and the people but this is really the fundamental concept how we can 
create the ideal family culture as one family under God. Now is COVID situation. This COVID things really make us to be serious and automatically let us think about world situation. We cannot think only my family. We cannot think only our society already affecting our life of the nation and world together. So I think this is also God's message. How we can think together in the world level as a family, as the one community. So now many people is really getting sick or difficult, but we ourselves also uh, pray well, concern well, and they are involved well those social matter together. Surely when we unite our heart, those will way will be open. So let's also pray together in each nation of Oceania now. Really many difficult situations is one by one is coming, but also now is the important for the preparation moment after next moment. So let's put our chanson in our heart and let's create the grateful moment. So today is a Sunday morning, the beginning of the week. Many things is waiting. So let's have a great moment, offer the victory and happiness to our heavenly parents and to the parents. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka, as always. You're really amazing, uh, your sharing and, and illumination of everything. I really uh, appreciate a lot. Uh, I had lots of thoughts and feelings and thinking you know, as you're talking uh, and, and sharing. Uh, actually, many times you 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 talk, uh, but not so often you share some of your experiences. But there, you, know, you shared your experiences fishing and catching you know, barracuda, uh, and and that was um, very nice to hear. I, I was you know, a few things uh, caught my mind. Uh, the, the idea of change and, and the idea of mindset, because we really do live in a, a changing world. The world is changing physically and spiritually. And, and in fact, it's a, a thing that you cannot stop. Change is always there. And I, I realized uh, how changeable everything is uh, when I was in New Zealand many years ago and I experienced an earthquake for the first time. I never experienced an earthquake, but when I was in New Zealand, I, I was uh, window shopping and uh, and I was standing in front of this window and, and, and it hit the, the city. I was in uh, Wellington and uh, and this earthquake, I just uh, was totally surprised. It was uh, completely unnerving because the whole uh, land under me felt like it became liquid. This what I was used to being solid disappeared from being solid it was liquid and i could feel this wave come up towards me and i was looking at this window and it buckled as the wave went past and and i was surprised it didn't shatter but uh and i and i just was totally overwhelmed wow we're really living in in, in a, a changing environment and then i started to think about mindset okay our mindset is changeable Everything is changeable. You know, we you know, we can be serious. We can have anticipation. We can have deep yearning. You know, we we need to figure out how to keep constant through all the change. We can then suddenly be very appreciative and have deep gratitude. And then I started to think of you know what's the only thing that doesn't change, and but at the same time is completely changing. And then I realized it's actually when I, when I saw father's photo, that last photo, and there is, is together with his kids in the bush. And I counted seven of his children there. And father is looking at his children. I could see and feel this uh, enormous amount of love that he has for his children. I was you know, quite taken by it. And I realized, of course, love is the only thing that doesn't change. But at the, the same time, its expression is always changing because we're, we're all so unique, then the, uh, the love that's given by God to each of us is so unique just for us. So love doesn't change, but its expression absolutely changes. And so we live in a changing world because we're living in the, the absolute love of God and the expression of that, of that love is always changing. 
So somewhere in that uh, earthquake, there's the love of God <laughs> showing its changingness. So it's a, a very, uh, lots of thinking and thoughts and feelings came. So thank you, Reverend Yutaka, for sharing and uh, open it up to others who have some feeling. Yes, Kim, go ahead. Yeah, I'm uh, just overwhelmed with thoughts, of course, because uh, um, this is very much my life. And uh, I, I've been fishing since I was a little tacker with my dad. And uh, even when I traveled before I joined the church, I, uh, I had a fishing rod and reel with me all through India, up in the mountains in Nepal. And uh, I finally gave that rod away uh, to when I was missionary in, uh, in Russia, Northern Russia. Um, but mindset's really important. Uh, our environment has changed so much. When Father talks about surviving through hunting and things like that, uh, um, you know, the jungles that I walked in in Borneo are now gone, um, where people used to survive through hunting. Um, the environment has, has really diminished, the, the fish stocks have diminished. Um, now more than, way more than 50% of our, the protein we get from fish uh, is uh, aquaculture. So Father talks about aquaculture too quite a lot and he, I think he changed his mindset a little bit over the years as well and really started to focus more on aquaculture because the wild fisheries are so diminished worldwide and they continue to be. Um, and then sort of at a personal level how your mindset changes when you're young and you're fishing you really want a, that big fish or lots of fish but as I've got older uh, I'm more a little come a bit more Japanese, I guess. They fish for fish that are nice and tasty. So I'm as happy to go on the jetty and catch uh, uh, Ayu, or uh, not Ayu, uh, Aji. Mr. Arai knows Aji, a uh, little small mackerel, right? From the mackerel family. To get a feed of those as I am to get a big fish. I've caught lots of big fish, but and they're good for the ego, but uh, but actually now I fish for food. I don't fish for, uh, um, you know, the excitement of catching the fish. I'm more, uh, more practical in that sense. But anyway, I could go on a lot, a lot of things, but uh, uh, I could certainly relate. Uh, yesterday, uh, a couple of days ago, I went to work a little bit earlier than usual and there was a really fiery sunset, uh, sunrise and uh, amazing. And uh, I really, uh, these are the times when I really feel God. And I haven't lately, because if you don't get up early enough to see it, you miss it. And, uh, but when I was fishing, I used to get out on the jetty around here very early or going down to the boat to set up the boat before the customers come. And that's really kind of special time that uh, where you can really experience God's beauty of nature. So thanks. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Chris, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, uh, yeah, Father talks about uh, when I went to, to Alaska, I really determined I was going to focus on every single thing that Father did fishing, and I fished right beside him quite a bit. And uh, I realised that everything he's doing, uh, the way he fishes, it's all related to witnessing. And it can be related to using the methods. And if you look at Father's, read Father's words about how you actually do it, like he'll say things like, if you cast a thousand times in one day, you're going to be successful. That's hard. So when Father fishes and he catches a fish, he has a helper a right-hand man, and he hands the rod to him and he winds the fish in. Father doesn't even wind the fish in. He takes another rod and he starts casting again. Lesson, big lesson. So what I really wanted to say was for us, um, we're 
we're cut now from the fallen world, but we have a lot of bad habits still. And if you're trying to break those habits, you actually have to put yourself in the position of the fish being caught because that line is like the hooks that we have. And the more you understand about the reality of how that fish, what it has to do to escape that line, it is so directly related to changing our bad habits into good habits. And I haven't got time now, but there's all kinds of things that Kim would relate to. You catch a big tuna, if that tuna is running straight away from you, straight directly out, you can't catch it. You have to get out to the side. You have to turn it, right, because of the pressure on the fish. So from our point of view, if we know what we should do and we run straight and true, that line is going to run out. That fish has enough power to, to get to the end of that line and break it, but it doesn't know that. So a 1,000 metres of line, the fish is thinking, oh, this line's never going to end. But it does end. So all these little lessons, the more people understand about this, the more they can understand how to break away from Satan. It's actually easy. And I know these lessons, but I have trouble believing that they're going to work in a spiritual sense as well. But anyway, I just want to say the lessons are there. And that, that sentence about Father taking people hunting and turning them into high priests has profound, deep significance. Because what we're battling at the moment is how to look after the environment and also how to understand that behind the unprincipled part of people working in this world is an agenda to take that, those resources away from you. So we have to be wise enough to know how to manage that. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Yes, Mr. Rai, go ahead. Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, certainly, I think we wish we free and we like so uh, Kobe, and uh, <clears throat> especially, I think, uh, uh, Sydney is a uh, very feel, you know, very special with sending a prayer, I think, Fiji. <clears throat> uh, a couple of things. Uh, uh, just one thing is uh, about uh, uh, Father Sender's 28 foot of good goal. And uh, I think that is uh, very good to chasing tuna because when Father started fishing, Gloucester, uh, that is a very good, I think. But uh, uh, that sent to other nations, ten nations, to increase also their New Zealand. But uh, father seriously thinking uh, 52, quite many years, and with uh, architecture designer, and uh, father himself really spent a lot of time 52 foot because. Uh, uh, mini long liner. I think maybe Kim and Chris can understand mini long liner. Uh, because big one, big uh, boat is not uh, easy sometimes in uh, some uh, in the island. Uh, uh, Dr. Young asked me to come to uh, some island, then I went. Uh, then that time, uh, 10 fishing boat was uh, damaged by typhoon. Maybe I think John knows which yeah. is incredible. Uh, it's, uh, you know, that's why <clears throat> I think just uh, we could manage 28, but uh, always appreciate, we remember uh, how true father try to, you know, support some islands. That is uh, one point, <laughs> just that we try to, the forever <coughs> had a busy time, <coughs> but spending so much time to design 52, 52 food. <coughs> the other thing is, uh, as uh, Kim and uh, also Chris mentioned, and uh, uh, you know, Kim looking for more 
you know, for tasty fish, like aji. Uh, God created this, you know, uh, all food. There's always, always a seasons. And uh, we like to eat a season. Also, fish is a season. So how we can catch seasonal fish? Uh, that is a point. Uh, I think wherever you talk about fishing is two, three days uh, called Balamandisa. But uh, uh, I, I try to you know, catch Balamandi or uh, uh, <coughs> really I think it's uh, there are really we have, we have to, we, we like to you know, catch uh, seasonal fish. That's why uh, snapper like in you know, October like a bream is uh, August to October, uh, October. and uh, mackerel is uh, summer, and uh, uh, always, uh, because uh, I think that's the culture, uh, you know, I, I always, you know, some kind of, I am uh, maybe, it's average Japanese, you know, person of, uh, you know, appetite, but uh, inherited, that's a German culture, and, uh, when go fishing, looking for a seasonal fish, uh, then after catch, it's a you know you know we do ikijime, we try to keep ice, then you know bring home, they, they cook, cook nicely to eat, <laughs> and uh, so uh, you know I I am uh, listening to so much fishing and oh well uh, you know what I'm doing and I think uh, we have the more time to spend. Uh, time the people and the tribe messiah and uh, uh, I really, really, you know, then other, you know, week ago, I already, you know, cleaned my all fishing gear, everything. Oh, this is the time I really focused this year to, for more people to, you know, then suddenly it's, uh, you know, really involved this, it's, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, also problems, you know. <laughs> <laughs> revived again uh, in ocean, you know, activity and uh, uh, always, uh, I've always one of the fishing master in here in Melbourne and uh, he's not, you know, not so rich, but I say always his name is Mr. Hirayan, Mr. Hirayan. We have very good hobby because many people, some people go to Kajino, uh, uh, that kind of, you know, area then if uh, someone got a big one, like a ten, to, you know, big money, they hook up, hooked. Then, uh, then if you know they got money, ten thousand dollars, surely lose maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars. But uh, fishing, if uh, we can catch big one, if lose, you know, we hooked. You know, especially I don't know how you experience or not if you catch a big one. Then or oh, fighting, you know, then lose. I think the father started catching tuna, lost sixteen fish at the beginning. Then oh, father was hooked by <laughs> tuna. I think so anyway. So they, but uh, you know, for fishing, lose or hooked. But anyway, we don't lose anything. And uh, I think oh, we have a big good hobby and. Uh, uh, I always say, you know, this river, this port field base, all of fish is for you, you know. You can get because you know how to get, how to. That's why there are many treasure in the ocean river, but uh, if you don't know how to fish, nothing. But the people who is good at, he, he can manage to fishing, it's all of treasure is you, that you can bring also you can provide family to try to the community. <laughs> so I really recommend it's uh, fishing in a busy time, but also we try to more <laughs> communicate with others. Uh, thank you today. Yes, thank you everyone. And thank you, Mr. Rai. It's actually time now for us to offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, uh, share the screen. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, pray together.
Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for uh, uh, attending every morning. And I hope you have a great day. So see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Love you now. Love you now. Bye. 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 Bye